just uploaded the most insane video we've ever done. Go watch. Take a look at this picture. Take a good hard look at this picture. Does that remind you of anything you've seen so far? Does it remind you of anything you've seen remotely close to it? Or does it look like the exact same thing that I drew? The exact same thing that I pitched? Everything. Do you want to know how much I got paid for that? Zero. You're a billionaire, dude. It's not like it's some other, I'm some some guy on the street or you're some guy on the street. You're a billionaire, man. Pay people for their ideas. Don't just fly them out there, take their ideas and send them home. You're giving these people false hope. You're taking their dreams from them you're taking everything that's about them they're creative then they're creative there's around 5,000 new allegations coming towards mr beast and his team on daily basis that even if mr beast wanted to respond to all of these allegations was preparing it 100 it got to a point where mr jimmy went like fuck it we just went from 308 trillion subscribers to 309 trillion subscribers the hell with it upload the next video i don't normally do intros like this but i'm currently descending hundreds of feet into a cave that runs over five kilometers deep into the earth and whether we like it or not as soon as my friends and i touch the ground we are officially stranded here for the next seven days even megatron is a mr beast victim she decided to open up to me and explain Telling me the truth about this whole cutting tail situation and say that Mr. Beast was going to work, that he cut her tail with his Teslas. It wasn't an engine situation, it was a Mr. Beast situation. Even Optimus told me before I adopted him that Mr. Beast came to his house and stole his food and his toys. I don't know how true that is, but I think he just wants to feel included in the subject. I can go on for days with these new allegations, but the one we're about to talk about today isn't something really new. It happened six days ago, but I was off the internet at the time. But there has been some updates to the situation, and I thought I'll talk about it and update you about it if you have watched it in the first place. A YouTuber six days ago posted a video saying, I worked for Mr. Beast. He's a thief. Stole my ideas, paid me nothing. This guy went on a 23-minute rant where he said that he applied for the idealist section for a role to be a part of mr b's team he already works with multiple youtubers where he edits for them and gives them ideas sometimes and he says in february 2024 he received an email from mr beast saying that you have an opportunity to join mr beast come to our warehouse and show share us your ideas and blah 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 i mean for real look at this even you would think the same thing if you got a random email saying mr beast follow up he even showed us a proof where he got too excited he went on facebook and decided to share a, this good news with everyone so i got a job offer from mr beast today video call on monday wish your boy luck he was giving two options where he they gave them two titles and they had to come up with the idea but in the email it did say that it had those two prompts and the two prompts was the something about spending spending a billion dollars in a day in 24 hours and the other one was the most the world's most dangerous trap room you see right here you get really close bloodthirst let's see elevator let's see even get close glass challenge right here um pt hallway sound familiar it's my prompt this is the world's most dangerous obstacle course so see C1 has been working on this with me and the other guy I don't know his name and we're working on like as you can see the intro the hook the money mechanic he came up with some great ideas he said that the team absolutely loved it they want to go forward with this and they absolutely love his work they, he is part of the eight players bro got butterflies everywhere he decided to call his friends and family and tell them on how this whole thing is going how good it is how they love my work and how i have a very high chance on getting a job with mr beast which is my dream job basically but unfortunately life is not fucking fair just like when you're out with that one girl you take her for expensive dinner things are going well chemistry is on fire everything is going well you take her back to your place when you're about to do the shakalaka boom boom she realizes and tells you that she just got her period same thing with this guy he thought that he is getting a job at mr Beast. he's going to be a millionaire finally his hard work is going to pay it off but when he flew back home he was on the phone waiting for that confirmation to see that he's going to get a job at mr beast they send him an email saying unfortunately we decided to not go forward with you everything was perfect i know about everything was literally perfect until i got home until i got home and that's when everything started to happen unfortunately we have decided not to move forward with your candidacy at this time we really appreciate you coming out and vibing with us we could we would consider you for a role like this in the future but timing isn't quite right uh and the rest are about receipts i didn't say anything at all not a single word until i saw this on twitter just uploaded the most insane video we've ever done 
go watch. Take a look at this picture. Take a good hard look at this picture. Does that remind you of anything you've seen so far? Does it remind you of anything you've seen remotely close to it? Or does it look like the exact same thing that I drew? The exact same thing that I pitched? everything do you want to know how much i got paid for that zero now according to drama alert mr beast team reached out to drama alert responding to the whole video that this guy made saying that here's proof that we worked on that idea plus thumbnail in 2023 so they're claiming that it was done way before this guy even came up with the idea so in theory he stole our idea without even realizing he definitely didn't come up with it as that idea has been floating around for three years since fall guys came out now do i believe this guy yes i do believe him because unfortunately these things happen a lot when big creators Steal, steal ideas from small creators and they just use it by themselves and people the audience will have no idea that this idea is stolen in the first place the big creator posted it even though the small creator posted it before them but people do not care they care about the big creator small creators are usually not respected the second a million hits or a verified youtuber you become an instagram a youtuber whatever that is when people started to look at you in a different way i don't know what it is but that's just how social media is do i believe he should have got a job opportunity for this because they said they loved the idea if mr beast they came up with this idea last year why were they so surprised and loved it he should have got that job opportunity or if they decided to go forward with his idea at least give him a small percentage it doesn't have to be like fucking half a million dollars it has to be like 10 20 30 thousand dollars is fine but this guy kind of like ruined it a little bit not not a little bit a lot because he started a gofundme saying that the fight against mr beast and the wrongdoing of his company and his target was to raise 1.7 million dollars same amount of budget that was used for that video so he wants all the money from that video and after 380 dollars the backlash started coming towards him so he decided to go close the gofundme before even hitting $500. Following up with it, he said, I'm truly sorry. Every penny is being refunded. I wanted a way to have the people that rock with me, support me. It was bonehead move, but truly with no malicious intent. Again, I apologize deeply. All I care about is getting my story out there. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe it was more than getting your story out there. I never thought this video would do anything like this. I was happy knowing someone knew, even if it was 100 people. He literally ruined it with a GoFundMe. He basically said that Mr. Beast, shaka like a boom boom me. Now I am here to shaka like a boom boom you with you giving me money because... I, you know, came up with the idea, but they did all the production and they spent like a couple of millions of dollars on making the video, but I deserve all that money because it was my idea in the first place. Now, don't get me wrong. It is something frustrating, especially because you can't do anything about it. He signed an NDA without knowing about it. Apparently, if you go to Mr. Beast to even use the toilet in that facility, you have to sign an NDA. You want to say hi to Jimmy. You want to take a picture with him. You want to shake his hand. NDA. I won't be surprised even if his own mother or grandmother signed an NDA just to hey, be around him. NDA left and right just being thrown. I do believe it is a very shitty move when people steal ideas, especially in his situation. It is a very shitty thing, but unfortunately it happens way too often he should have got a small portion of it and these big creators think by just ignoring it no one would even realize that would think this was your idea in the first place and i'm pretty sure 99.9999 percent of the people who watch mr beast thought that he came up with the idea or his team came up with it they had no idea that this guy existed honestly this is just another allegation added to the mr beast allegations at this point like i said at the beginning of the video he doesn't care he just uploaded his video a few hours ago and he's gonna continue going forward and with the way things are going i highly doubt that he will ever respond to all these allegations he's just gonna go forward anyone he's gonna have a thousand millions sitting behind a pc and you know filtering comments removing comments and he's gonna hire bot comments and saying oh my god that was that was crazy mr beast you're such a humble person i love you more people are gonna talk about it but is there anything going to happen to mr beast absolutely not he's sitting behind <clears throat> watching all these commentary channels shitting on him and calling mr beast an evil person and he is sitting and smiling since he reaches 310 trillion subscribers and he's like my cucumba all of you he does his evil laugh and he continues doing videos honestly at this point let's see what happens uh, there's a one percent chance he will respond but most likely he just won't he will continue going forward with it he's this is going to be 
literally his worst year. But Jimmy is not going to stop anytime soon. He's going to continue to grow and grow more. But I just thought I'll share this updated situation with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscribe. If you enjoyed these yapping sessions, take it for yourself. I will see you at the next one.